In practice it, self-check 4.11 contribution, we need to rewrite the code eliminating redundancy. Um, redundancy is in if statements. If we have a bunch of if statements that do different things, however we have the same thing repeated inside of our if statements, well, we don't really need to repeat these things. So we can actually move them outside of our if statements, that way our code is shorter. First we have a print statement out here that prompts the user for a question. We have, is your money multiplied one or two times? The user would input the amount of times in here. We have the next int being stored, so either one or two will be stored in times. And then we have these if statements to pick it up. Well, we don't want two if statements. What we can have is an else if statement, just to make it more concise, because these are both part of the same comparison. So outside of these if statements, we are going to just ask one time how much are we contributing, and we are going to store that. So we don't need this again in here. So what we can do is take this and put it outside of this if statement, and then we can just get rid of this entirely. Now inside of our if statements again, this looks okay, and this looks okay because they are both different. The only thing that is the same is this last total part. And what we can do is we can move this out of our else if statement by taking this and deleting it and taking this last part, cutting it and pasting it like this. Closing up our code, now we have our prompt right here that'll prompt the user if our money is being multiplied one or two times, storing it, and then how much we are contributing, storing it in here, and then we have our if statement if our times is one, and then our else if statement if our times is two, and then we do our math down here. Pressing submit, we can see that we have passed all four tests. So this is now the correct or less redundant code to this problem.